I should have everything good now. <clears throat> okay, so welcome to the Roller Coaster Tycoon World beta, beta. Whether you're building death defying coasters, sending peeps on harrowing spirals, or. Uh, just, oh God, place of TV, I don't know. Uh, uh, the Awakened One gives you the glimpse of Roller Coaster Dreams where you'll be able to fulfill when Roller Coaster Tycoon launches. Gosh dang it, I clicked off the game, that's why I did it. Whoops. <laughs> All right, game, the audio is a little cheesy. <laughs> Showing the game sides, but it's kind of jumpy. Please note that Roll Second World is pre-release software and is a technical test. Certain features are not enabled during the beta uh, because it's pre-releasing game. Artari will have limited customer support for the game at this time. Thank you all again for pre-ordering Roll Second World and helping make RCT World the best RCT yet. <clears throat> So here we go. Here's the menu. Um, first things first, I want to address the menu. Um, you know, it doesn't. Gosh dang it, I hit, keep clicking off it because I'm doing stuff. But the menu doesn't catch my eye as good as the previous games have. But, I mean, that's not a big issue. But I'm just trying, I'm being real nitpicky here. <clears throat> but um, we got load game. Of course, we had sandbox as well. So let's get into it. Sandbox and uh, frolicking forest. Let's name our park. Uh, what should we name it? <clears throat> I can't believe I'm about to enter this game. I'm so excited. <laughs> let's just call it JLW Park for right now because I'm so original. I'm just ready to get in. I'm on the loading screen. I'm this close to getting into the game. I've seen everything on it. I've watched all the videos. I've read all the production blog posts. And here it is. Roller Coaster Tycoon World. It's going to come up any second. The game is beautiful. And this is just beta I'm spazzing out over. It's not even the full game. <laughs> it's literally probably just roller coasters and paths and some scenery. <laughs> But I'm so excited for to see what we can do in the coaster editor. Ah, long loading screens. RCT3 had a long loading screen. Um, as far as I've seen, this one isn't as long. But I don't mind waiting. Oh. oh. We're here. <laughs> We're here. And I'm having no issues, lagging issues whatsoever. Straight into the game. That's the way I like it. Ah, oh, look at that parking lot. Looks beautiful. And the road connecting, they actually have it connected to the road and everything. Look at the environments. And it's a pretty big space that they're giving us here in the beta, <clears throat> which is awesome. Grass looks so much better than uh, Relix Tekken 3. You got actually got turnstiles. Those look great. They put little pumpkins in there. Got the ghost guests. This is a nice touch. Just zoom in on this entrance, see what everything we got. I'm guessing all the pumpkins and stuff is just for Halloween purposes and stuff. And look at those turnstiles. Pretty nice turnstiles. I'm guessing those are the exits on either side. <clears throat> nice little fence on the fence area. And we got a nice, really beautiful environment outside of the park, <coughs> which they don't give you in Rolex Tycoon 3 sandbox. You have a really nice back background and I like the water in the background it looks really nice okay oh my gosh I'm playing this game all right let's start building guess sounds sound pretty good I don't know if you can hear him coaster builder scenery path and cues let's start with the path I'm gonna go ahead and start with the straight path let's see where uh, the hexagon, uh, concrete, cobblestone looks really pretty. Stone, pretty nice set of paths they start you out with. And there's quite a bit of variety, too. I'm a fan of the asphalt paths. 
I just like that dark look they have. And they even have dirt pathways. It's interesting. But um, they have gravel. I'm going to try asphalt. And then you have medium and large paths. I'm going to start with large. And really, you can go anywhere you want. and you, Or you can use uh, um, demand grid, which is G, I believe which snaps it, which is really nice. So if I want to be very precise, like I am right now, use the grid. So I'm going to do that. Turn the grid off. Oh my gosh. Let's do a curved path. Okay, so midway's around right there. Next time, escape gets rid of it. All right, still on large. I, want, I, like, I like larger pathways. Whoops. Made my first boo-boo. Didn't select the right path. Okay. So, uh, of course this is beta. So we're definitely going to be looking for bugs at the same time. So if anyone ever sees any bugs, uh, feel free to point them out. <clears throat> She's going to be uh, very, inter very interested. Alright, let's just put some nice scenery here in these, uh, this grass place. I have distractions going on in the background. All right, let's see what scenery we have. We have trees. This game's a lot more beautiful in person now that I'm playing it myself than, I, than I've seen in the videos. We've got Douglas fir, which is a nice tree. Not a bad selection of trees here for the beta. I, I'm assuming they're going to have more at launch. Ooh, I really like these. And they snap to the... Uh, alongside the path, so if you want to do that, you can. I know, it is a nice tree. Okay. So when I pan around, it kind of disappears. Very minor thing. Um, a bug just flew behind your head. I don't care. <laughs> so, um, it's not a thing that really bothers me. Well, it does bother me. It's a little pet peeve now. When you go to pan around, it disappears. I mean, it's not a big thing, but um, it kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. I'm just be really nitpicking, nitpicking a little bit. And if you hold one, press one, or hold one. Let's see, if I put shift plus mouse wheel. You can rotate it. Oh, okay. <laughs> In any direction you want. Okay, let's place a couple. Let's have a nice little tree pathway here. So dark. <clears throat> now, I think they mentioned that the night, day and night cycles will be a lot longer in the final game. There we go. Nice little trees going on. Let's see if we have any, uh, like shrubs and stuff. Foli foliage. Oh, they have nice little flowers. These are so good looking. I like it. I'm going to go really into detail. I know everyone wants to see the coasters and stuff, but I'm actually going to work on making a nice little park here. I mean, look at all these plants. I could spend hours. <laughs> it's okay. Obi-Wan killed it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something that was going to happen. Oh, so these can be placed on the pathways. That's why I was wondering if place stuff on the pathways as well. And we'll upgrade that again. Delete that. Uh, what should I place in this spot? Let's see. Bushes. Oh, they have nice hedges. Place some hedges around here. Any closer if I go all the way around this way. No, looks the same. Alright then. Oh, that was a little farther over than I thought it was. Hmm. Decor. Oh. Maybe I, maybe I should play some fountains? I saw some fountains. They showed off some fountains in the live stream yesterday. Was, they look pretty nice. <coughs> Oh, here's the fountains over here. Let's 
put a nice little fountain in here. I'm going to turn the grid on and get precise placement. I don't know if I like that placement there. <laughs> okay, just G. Now, it, I like the animation of it plopping down and everything. It kind of gets difficult to know where it's going to actually go fully if it's up in the air, kind of. I, again, it's another small thing. I'm just being real nitpicky. I love the game so far. It looks awesome. All right, I like that. Okay. Let's go place another one on this side. I gotta get this very precise too. Invalid location. Okay. So, I love the on-demand grid that they got rid of the grid, but they have that on-demand grid option still there. Did I get that even? Looks pretty close. Oh, I didn't. What's this around it? Oh, I, I see what it is. Uh, I think it's a pathway around it that you can connect to it. Is the other, other one smaller, maybe? <laughs> okay, maybe no fountains here. <laughs> Decor, let's see. Oh, we have these really cool rocks. I saw these. These are actually pretty nice looking. Place like a, some random rocks in here. Different places. I like I like rocks in my park. Especially when they're placed at random. Oops. I'll put you there. <clears throat> Find it again. That's kind of annoying when you place something wrong and you have to delete it. And uh, you have to completely go out of it just to delete it and go to the bulldozer tool. In the older games, you just like right click and it would vanish. Alright, let's put some over here as well. Rotate them randomly. Oh, yeah, it gave us a nice little feel to it. Oh, all right. Oh, we got uh, these really nice looking rocks too. But I can't put my hand on what they're called. I can have a western rat wagon. Let's have like a western theme park. Be kind of cool. I like to go all out on theming and scenery. What else we got here? Ride never ends, skull face. Yeah, hey Bell. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's we need to get some more plants. Get a couple cact cacti, cactuses in there. Very peaceful. Get some over here too. I love, I love how you can rotate, uh, the way you can rotate stuff. It looks really good. Alright, I like the look of that. A lot, I don't know why my... <clears throat> Alright, Air Boss. Glad you could join. Uh, I just got started. <laughs> in my park, I think it looks pretty good. Alright, I wonder if there's... Uh, one thing I don't... You know, the invalid location thing gets kind of annoying. Like, you can't put it anywhere you want. Because <clears throat> what if I want to put something, like, in the middle of the path? Because that's something I would want to do. But, um... I know in, like... Like, what if I wanted to put, like, this big statue right here in the middle of the pathway? Because the pathway is just too... 
So there's two empty right there. And I like to use like put really cool stuff. Oh, that's cool. Really cool whole stuff in here. My accent's really changing. But I guess we'll leave it blank for right now. See if I can't get a decent fence going here. What fence should we use? I'm gonna stay in theme here. <clears throat> so got a, maybe a rope fence? Net rope? Small wooden fence? What? Old wood fence. I'll try this one. Let's see if I can get precise placement. Get the grid, make sure I can snap it down precisely next to each other perfectly. Nah, they don't really go well together. Like, I want them to be able to connect very nicely. Alright, well, let's get. Let's get to the real stuff. Let's get to the coaster builder. Alright. What should we start with? I kind of want to start with a wooden coaster, maybe. Or we can go straight into the stuff I really want to see, like the wing coaster. Oh, we'll save that for later. Let's try with the wooden coaster first. We have two different stations. Alright, so shift, mouse wheel, rotate it. What's, what's that two? What's that rotation there? Oh, can lift it up. That's, that's handy. Very handy. Okay. So, where's the entrance and exit? Are they on both sides, same side? Okay, there's the entrance, there's the exit. Give it a little nice little curved diagonal. All right, about here. The theme the heck out of this thing. All right, here's the start of it. Oh my gosh. So let's start off with a little curve. All right. Up here, get the grid going. I want a straight track, because this is gonna be my uh, lift hill. That's straight right there. Now I really want to uh, edit this. <clears throat> That's very interesting. Okay. So if I want to edit this, you uh, hold shift, to lift it up. Oh, gosh. I never got this far. Thought I placed it. Make sure it's straight. 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 Not curved. I want realism. There you go. Okay, so you can do that. Um, do I have it, have it selected? Maybe I have to click there. Chain link. Friction break. Block break. Okay. So that's your different track sections. If I hold shift and scroll wheel, okay. So I guess I have to raise it first, maybe. Straight, straight, straight. I think the grid. I, I think the grid would make it very easy to find where I want. Maybe if I uh, I go right here, 
and then put on one of these straight points right here. Like that. Now, I haven't figured out how to actually edit uh, a, a single node. Maybe right-click it? No. If I click on it, I can move it again. Okay, so, just click it. Whoops. What do I want to do? Let's make this section... The lift started is what I want to do. So that'd be a good start right there. <coughs> no, no, you want to be you want to be straight. <laughs> and then this could be the this will be the straight section, like so. So if we click on it, we're going to raise this up. Because that's very high. Time to click four. Okay, so it needs to be a little. Alright, don't think I wanted it that tall. But yeah. It's very, very steep. <laughs> very steep lift hill. But that's okay. This is our, our very first, very first attempt at it, so. It'll be a very tall wooden roller coaster. See if I can straighten this out. Okay, right there is good. All right, perfect. That's a that's a pretty good looking to our fill. Um, so I think if we want to change the type uh, track here, whoa, 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 no, don't do that. Stay there. Okay, we'll we'll add the sections later. I lost a piece of support. Where, where'd my supporting go? Found a bug. <laughs> See if I just move it around a little and close it, put it back in. Nope. I guess we're going without a support right there. Uh, something I would love to see on the wooden uh, coasters uh, is wider supports. So, all right, this next section, let's have kind of a, see if we can't make like a, like a drop turn. So place that there. That. There. And let's select it and hold shift. <coughs> Since it's such a big wooden coaster. Curve too steep. What do you mean it's too steep? Okay, I'll place it there. And let's select this one and edit it a little bit. So if I uh, made it a little bit lower there as well. We're going to bank the track a little bit, which is 
to. Right, tell me the curve is too steep. Okay, we're going to go select uh, back on this node again. Edit it a little bit. <coughs> I made this wooden coaster a little bit too tall. That's okay, we'll use the terrain deformation tool to kind of help us out there. Alright, so I forgot. If you click this, I could probably change it to chain lift. Yes. So we'll change this to chain lift as well. But again, something I would love to see is wide supports. So if you have a taller wooden coaster or something, there's just wide supports there that will really support it a lot better. And I don't know what's going on here, but I've, uh, along where the nodes are, I've found that, uh, just the supports cut out for some reason. <coughs> okay. Uh, I kind of want to test it so far and see how it works. So, if I exit out of the coaster editor and click test, and immediately start testing. I want to listen on the sounds too, see how good the sounds are. What happened? It just kind of came to a halt right here. Did it not have enough speed or what, what happened? Okay. That's how we're going to play it. Place that a little lower. It seems that, uh... When you, uh... After you edit a piece, that's when the... Like, you click on it. After you placed it and you click to edit it, um, that's when it actually is, uh, uh, the supports are cutting out, I think. So, there you go. Alright, I gave it a little bit more of a bend here, or a dip so it can make it to the chain lift. Alright, the sounds sound fantastic. Wow, that's a really big train. Let's take a look at the chain lift. The lift. There's a chain, lift chain. See how good it looks. It doesn't look too bad. Definitely better than RCP3. And we're just going to launch it off the rails for right now. Uh, I will write it in just a moment. I just kind of want to watch it out off of it for right now. See what happens. <clears throat> but again, I think the first bug I found is after you click a node, or you, after you go back to edit a node, the um, support's cut out uh, at where that node is. There it goes right off the rails. Beautiful and RCT style. The trains are, the trains are nice. Okay. So, let me see. I've We haven't seen anybody actually ride it yet. Which is a good point. <clears throat> so here's your view. That's kind of looking awkward. <laughs> At least for this train. Alright, you can actually take a screenshot with F F12. That's cool. Uh, let's edit the train a little bit. Change the train type. I know how to do that. So I don't. And... 
Luke, your dad is behind you. Yes, I know. And he's also got a beard coming out of his uh, helmet there. Great. So I'm guessing when I test it, you can't just ride it like you could in the previous games. That way you don't have to wait for anyone to get on. So if I just open it and ride. So can we move around? Yes, we can. Again, it probably has to wait for guests. Uh, to actually ride it, I'm guessing. Appears to be the case. <clears throat> I don't know if I can change any settings in there. Uh, all this is blocked off, so we can't really do anything uh, to that. And those trains. Uh, so we can, can mess with that. Oh gosh, I don't know what I did there. But, going on oh gosh I'm dizzy I don't know what I did and my mouse won't move anywhere oh still funky what is going on I think I found another bug That's the one bad part about beta. I'm stuck at this station, and every time I move my mouse, my everything goes haywire. I might have to reboot the game. I don't know. I can't even move my mouse to anywhere. Hold on. Let me try and... I don't think my mouse... My mouse okay? I don't think it's my mouse. Save. Okay, save it, save it, save it. Save it, <laughs> save it. I can't get to the new game. I don't know what's going on here. I'm clearly confused right now. I can't even get to the quit button. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh no, you see stuff. <clears throat> okay, that was weird. I fixed it. Let me see if I it reoccurs if I uh. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix it. Or see if I can get a reoccur. I don't know what that was. Some mouse spaz. So, uh, if you ha if you haven't noticed, the peeps are all ghosts. That's something they did for Halloween, just for fun, uh, in the beta. So it's kind of neat. Um, uh, they're not really doing any peep simulation, so I don't really think they really do much right now. As far as I know. <laughs> so, uh, that's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and create the queue line and everything. This is the entrance. I can remember where it's at. So the stuff that is, uh... Locked out is buildings, flat rides, and heat map. So 
So all that is uh, is uh, locked out. Caffeine cues. So here's our cues. Uh, we currently have a cue path and a sci-fi cue. But I definitely like them to kind of expand on these as well, being able to use whatever kind of cue we want. Like anything. That'd be kind of cool. Let me turn the grid on real quick. I have a unique little cue line here. Leading to our pathway. And we'll just connect it there. Alright, that's perfect. I don't know what happened here, but it cut it. The path is cut right there. I don't know what caused that. Delete that, it goes away. I'm, I'm so also trying to find these bugs, find some bugs too. So. Right, that cuts the pathway for some reason, and I used the wrong cue line. So that's interesting. Alright, let's use this one and see if we go here. Alright, seems appears to be fine right there. <clears throat> so there's a cue line for uh, that. So can I do this large from this? Probably not. So why'd they still leave the ticket booth at the begin at the queue line? The reason why they did that is because if you want to have the option for your peeps to actually pay for your rides, um, you can do that, and they pay through the ticket booth. So some rides, I mean, not many in theme parks, usually you pay for the park and stuff. If you want to set it up to where you pay for rides, they use that instead. Alright, so we got an uh, entrance and an exit. These people are queuing up for a ride that I haven't even, don't even think I opened. So let's open it. Alright, so the peeps are in line. And they're entering. So let's go ahead and try and ride this. I don't exactly know what happens. Alright, so the peeps are actually in here with me. So we're gonna get a little first person view here. Oh, here we go. So they said the first person view might be a little bit buggy. They haven't fully uh, worked on it a whole lot. And we got stuck for some reason. And I can tell from this view that that lift hill is not straight. And I think the first person view just kind of glitched out there, maybe. I don't know exactly what happened there. Um, we can try it again. That was kind of strange. <clears throat> because we got in and it just kind of stopped right before the lift hill and it should clearly have momentum from this point to get to that chain lift. I just kind of want to ride it. That's all I want to do. <laughs> ride it. Get on. Oh, there's no train there. 
Where's the train? Where the train went. Oh no, my peeps are all leaving now. Where'd the audio go? <laughs> the audio disappeared. Oh well, well, I guess we'll put that on hold for right now. And let's add some s nice... Well, maybe we should just continue on this coaster. I gotta get the coaster editor down. It's very foreign to me right now. <clears throat> it's definitely a different, uh, different feel than any other spline-based coaster editor I've used, so... <clears throat> So I mainly just want to place these down. I have it in my head how I want it to turn out. And I don't like how there's option or the it says curve is too steep. To me that is limits. Why why are there limits? And I'm not seeing the colors turn change. Maybe they don't have it built in the Wooden coaster yet? I don't know. So if we go to specialty, they have a snake icon. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to place these. And move them... Uh, Invalid location. Of course it is. And move them later, so. Don't tell me invalid location. I'm not understanding why it's uh, saying I can't do certain things. Like curve is too steep. Like I've... I don't understand that part. <clears throat> I don't think there should be any limits, in my opinion. So. Right. Well, let me change that there. I probably need to go and adjust this one. This node. Yeah, it's telling me curve is too steep. I don't understand that. I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to delete these. I'm going to start from the beginning up here at the top. So let's, for right now, let's <clears throat> go there. And we'll add just a. Why is it facing this way? <laughs> Turn this way. <laughs> there you go. Alright, that's obviously messed up. <clears throat> Alright, so let me try this again. There we go. Get a little bit of a curve here, and then we'll add another one. Turn the grid on so this is straight. First drop. See if I can get it correct. 
Okay, so let's click on it. Go to one, shift, lower it down. Man, that's a pretty decent looking first drop, uh, I think. <laughs> so the, looks like the supports don't regenerate, or regenerate, or come back once you cut through them and then decide to delete it. So that's kind of something I think they could uh, work on with the wooden coaster. This next one will have another straight piece. <clears throat> and that is so straight. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Apparently I moved this. See, the problem is I can't get it to face the way I want it to. Because I, I feel that uh, creating straight, uh, um, creating straight uh, track is kind of difficult. If you know what I'm saying. that first drop though that's pretty cool all right that one it's not too bad uh, we'll go with it all right so let's got that there this one and we'll raise this one up a little bit let's get there and ah All right, so we got a nice little hill um, there. Not looking too bad. <clears throat> kind of want to create like an overbank turn of some sorts here. Yeah, I am. Oh, is that the game? Oh, you're making your own coaster? Yeah, I'm live right now. Huh? I said I'm live streaming. All right, so I think we're doing all right for our first coaster. I mean, <clears throat> it's a wooden coaster, so um, we'll get into the steel coasters. Apparently, that's the most you can bank a wooden coaster, which is kind of disappointing. I, I just don't like that there's limits on what you can do on certain coaster types. You guys can do something? 
we will. Don't come out back. But um I mean I know they are going for realism. But um at the same time, you know, if you wanna make something real you can do that. But I kinda wanna go for certain things like if I want to make an RMC coaster as of right now I don't know if there's arms going to be RMC tracks probably not at least not at launch I would think if at all Gosh dang it. <coughs> I mean the Coaster editor is definitely not bad. I'm once uh, getting used to it. Um, it could actually be pretty good. It's pretty good, but um, let's see what I can do with this. Make it maybe smoother. I think that's good right there. <coughs> But, um, main bug I have found so far, <coughs> uh, obviously is the supports kind of disappear. I don't know exactly what's triggering it, but it seems after I edit it and then click on it again, it kind of disappears. So that's kind of maybe something that, uh, they can look at. And I like the on-demand grid system. It enables me to create... Uh, I want to create something straight. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find. But it's definitely there. To find that uh, straight. Straightness and stuff like that. <coughs> do you have... Do I have access to deluxe stuff? Um... I will once I get the full game, but here in the beta, I don't believe there's there won't be any deluxe edition stuff, um, <clears throat> because we're limited. I think the beta will be the same for everyone, but I did get the deluxe edition, uh, which is good. So, all right, we'll make it curve around this way a little bit. Let's get it. See, I prefer to the grid on. It really helps me get a little more precise and uh, placing my tracks and stuff <clears throat> and snapping it to where it, I think it needs to be. So let's go right here. Click one. And after messing with it a little bit, I'm getting pretty used to it. And this curve too steep message coming up makes no sense to me to me that seems okay to me <laughs> I, I'm not I don't I don't get it <laughs> to me that's that's limits right there they're limiting you on what you can do but I guess I would level up I'm a problem right there that'll work But again, um, obviously not the greatest lift hill, but you can create realistic lift hills um, if you do it right, as you, as I've done here. Um, for the wooden coasters, I don't I don't necessarily care for the look that they've given them. Uh, the main part is it just doesn't look like a wooden coaster to me, in my opinion, or the traditional wooden coaster. It, like the catwalks don't have like actual, or the handrails aren't. Like, there's not really any handrails there, like in most wooden coasters. Um, the track has bolts in the middle of the track, which is kind of weird. <clears throat> you know, I'm, I would, I want the look of kind of, uh, GCI Woody, if I'm going for the classic coaster look. And I would also love to see RMC coasters someday. Whether or not that will happen, you know, <clears throat> I know you probably can't, they probably can't go completely exact 
at some designs, otherwise they would have to pay that manufacturer, I think, money for the rights of the names and stuff like that, but um, you can create something similar with a different name <laughs> that would work out. Okay, I'm used to uh, clicking it afterwards and then editing it, but I can do it all at the same time right here. So let's have a little bit of curve here. Bank it a little bit. I just like banking it. <clears throat> so a little funky on the generated supports. And again, I would love to see wide supports in the game for wooden coasters. It just adds that little extra layer of detail for, um, in my opinion, for, you know, uh, realism-wise. Because <clears throat> they want to make sure that uh, there's some re a lot of realism in the game. And I'm trying to create a full-length uh, wooden coaster here. <clears throat> Rather than just a little circle, so. Oops, I'm still on that. Make ourselves go up here. Bank it just a little bit. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the station. Or start to get make our way back to the station, I should say. Needs to be higher up over here. Little twist and turns, always nice. Got back to zero there. Straight, I went straight. <laughs> So if I go one, all right. So that's red, and if you don't know, if it's in red, that means most your coaster is gonna fly off the track pretty much. <laughs> that's pretty much a given. So <clears throat> I guess I'll have to keep it level here right now. Probably at that point, it's gonna be going too fast. Uh, I'm gonna assume. All right, let's see if I can't get a little hill here. All right, going down there. <clears throat> Create another bank to head back towards home. Let's raise this a little bit. Okay, so we can't go that high. a little wider it's probably got quite a bit of speed in this part here so okay let's do it right there so it's uh, definitely a good idea to keep uh, everything in white just to make sure your coaster doesn't fly off the rails unless you want it unless you want to purposely get it to fly off the rails. Okay. Whoops. Have that perfect spot. There it is. Uh, it's all white for a second. Where did it go? There it is. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to create a straight section, and this will be the break run. Gotta find it. It's kind of hard to find that straight uh, piece that you're looking for, which is right there. And then I believe we can punch it back in to the end of the ride. So we got a pretty nice looking wooden coaster. I'm mean, not not gonna lie. I like the now that I get I've played around with the editor a little bit uh, for a little while now. It actually is it is quite nice. To, because I had to get used to it, and I hadn't used it really at all. That looks pretty tight there, but oh well. 
Um, overall, I think the coaster turned out really good, and um, let's test it. Actually, I need to uh, first create the brake run. So you can click on this part, and you can select what you want. So if I want extra trains, I can uh, actually let's see. Brakes force, probably raise it up just a little bit, make sure it slows it down enough. Do I have to select this spot here? No, just that one. <clears throat> so let's test it out as of right now and see what happens. I don't know why it sometimes gets stuck right there. Maybe that's a glitch or a bug, um, which has happened a couple times. I don't know, so let's get out of that and test it out. <clears throat> so the sounds in the game sound really good, I think, in my opinion. Looks like we're having a little bit of frames per second. What? Okay, that's very interesting. I don't know what that happened there. The train just kind of went off the track. Let's go in the editor here and see what happens. Click this spot. If I click this node, everything is in white. So that doesn't make much sense to me. Hmm. That's interesting. That might be a little buggy there on the lift hill. Because I was all <laughs> I was all white there, so um definitely don't know what's going on here. Of course, when you tr when you find bugs, you want to try and find what's triggering it. That's a very tricky pe part sometimes. So I don't exactly know what's triggering it. To not work here on the lift hill <clears throat> because I have all white so it shouldn't be going off the tracks at all and it freezes in mid-air so that's strange that's definitely some sort of bug <laughs> um, let me see if I can adjust this around and see if it makes a difference I mean, I prefer it to be very straight, but we'll try it and see if that, just that spot, for some reason, doesn't work. I don't know. But, like, like I've seen in the <laughs> comments already, you gotta love beta. And, oh, it works this time. Just because I changed the position of that node, which is kind of strange because now it's all weird, aw awkwardly curved. But if that gets it to work, so I don't know what caused that. The spot it was in. Or if it had something to do with grid. Because I actually went off grid to place it and I don't know. <clears throat> Hopefully the developers can uh, figure that out. But I think it created a nice little first coaster here. Hopefully it uh, works. <laughs> That's all I'm hoping. I have to say the sounds for the chain lift sound really nice. Of course, after we get through this, I'm definitely going to get to the steel coasters. I know people want to see that. See if I get it to decent enough stop here on the brake run. Yeah, it slowed it down. And it failed because it stopped it 
on the brakes. I had too much force on it. All right, so I'm going to have to click out of the game real quick. Okay, so kind of a mouse glitch there. Pretty sure it's not my mouse. All right, so we got it all the way to the brake run. And I think we just need to lower the brake force. And we'll be good. So let's add some scenery around this. <laughs> I want to make it all pretty and stuff, I know. Oh, nice oak tree. And this goes along with the theming around the ride. So after building that coaster, I do have a little bit of lagginess going on. It's not terrible. It, the game's still playable. <clears throat> but again, they said the game is not optimized fully yet, and they want our input on it. So, that's kind of my input. <laughs> and I haven't really gone into much of building. I've built one coaster. And my coasters are going to be that large. <laughs> if you know me. Uh, this is my favorite tree that I've seen so far. If you know me, I definitely place a lot of trees in my parks. I love trees in my parks. And foliage and stuff like that. Okay, so that's good for that. Let's see if we can't get some foliage and uh, some little flowers in different places. good some of these little plants because I know I do definitely want to be able to add a lot of trees in my parks because that's how I am <laughs> and most video games have issues with rendering a ton of trees but we'll see I mean it's it's not unplayable, so the game is playable, but it's starting to, frames per second is starting to look kind of go low, <laughs> it looks like, so. But when I first opened the game, I had absolutely no, uh, absolutely no lagging or anything, which was good. <clears throat> so. It's nice we found a couple bugs already in the game. <clears throat> Hopefully that helps will help the development team out and they'll get it all sorted out. So that's all the purpose of beta is finding those things. So we know the game's not perfect until launch, or at least it should be perfect at launch. Well, maybe not pitch perfect, but at least play a really good. Oh, look at these. I didn't even see these. Nice little, these are really, really pretty looking. <laughs> Can I squeeze one in there? Oh, right there. All right, so we got a lot of foliage going on. Wow, I like it. So my, I, I think it looks great. <laughs> I knew when I got my hands on it that I was gonna do a lot of different stuff and add foliage and actually like create a park. <laughs> of course, this is gonna be a roller coaster park because there's no flat rides available in this beta. But hey, I'll do what I can. So this first, this first coaster we built is a wooden coaster. Very cool, but wouldn't it be cooler if we added some environment around it to make it look even better? So let's go ahead and try the terrain deformation. <clears throat> I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Alright, so shift plus scroll is the brush strength. Ooh. And you can create different shapes here, there's different brushes to choose from. 
right now we're on a hill. Uh, just a round brush, which is probably the most realistic if you want to use create just hills. Now, I don't know if this is going to affect the coaster at all, but if you do terrain deformation uh, while the, under the coaster... Okay, that's what it's going to do for right now. So you're going to want to do the terrain first. It would be um, definitely cool if they would actually get it fixed or get it to where you uh the it rises the coaster rises with the terrain or the supports do rather than just creating a hole in the ground if i had to suggest something all right so that's good and you can add the brush strength oh i see no i don't believe so so you can create all these really cool hills. Um, there's also this brush, which kind of creates a mountainy type thing. And there's the square tool. If you wanted to create kind of like that. And you can also flatten, which is kind of a nice to use. Um, and they do have a smooth tool. I was wondering if one of these tools was a smooth tool. So they do have a smooth tool. Right there, which is good. And then you can paint, and there's a couple different grasses. There's sand. Um, there's also rocks, and I can't read that from here, but it starts with M. Looks like it ends with D. Mud. Oh, it's mud. <laughs> I couldn't see the U. The U kind of blended in. So that was, uh, that was interesting. So if you use the sand, you can actually paint that texture on the ground. Very cool. Uh, mud and rocks are not available in this build, it looks like. But we have that grass. Kind of a muddier type grass. That, and uh, the grass that is generated already. Very interesting. So that's train deformation. We can also add water. So let's create a little bit of a pond. So if we lower the terrain a little bit here. Create a little bit of a body of water. It's very dark. <laughs> I'm going to smooth the bottom of that. I like to use the smooth tool a lot. <laughs> Just to get that precise looking hole. <laughs> Alright, and I don't know how the water, the water tool works very well. So, okay. Just kind of splash it in there, it looks like. It's very interesting. Get our water in there. Alright, so there's a little pond. Uh, the water doesn't look bad. Um, and if we're going for realistic purposes, I think it's a l it looks pretty blue. And um, I like to have reflective water, kind of like you had in RCT3. The RCT3 water was really good. And if you had reflections and stuff, that would look really good. The water already looks good already. you, you got the waves coming up on the edges, which is really really nice touch. So I've everyone I've seen has been pretty pleased with the water so far. <clears throat> Alright, let's get a sandy texture here. just around it. Nice little body of water. So we zoom out. Like in Rolex Tekken 3, everything would disappear. Now if we're all the way zoomed out, stuff 
doesn't look as great, but it looks a lot better. What is this red? Whoa, gosh. That's terrifying. As you can see, some of the supports disappear if you go too far out, but the draw distance before they start disappearing is actually really good. <clears throat> so that's, that's an Im improvement. Um, let's just kind of add some environment here. By nice little tree to add around the pond. <laughs> and add a palm tree, of course. Add some palm trees around the pond. Perfect. really like this tree so I'm gonna just spam it around this area but of course the game could probably have frames for a second issue just mostly because I place a lot of trees which kind of makes sense <laughs> and a nice big oak tree As you can see, the green means it's going to go in theme, with the theme, or it's going to affect the theme of the coaster. <coughs> oh, this is very larger than I thought it was um, compared to the picture. I'm just, I'm not going to do like I would usually do with my trees, but um, <laughs> I'm going to put quite a few around it. Got some duckless furs in there. <clears throat> I don't think it's a pretty bad coaster for a first coaster, for my first coaster in Rolicus Tycoon World. For not uh, be having any experience with the coaster editor uh, as of till now. I think we did really good. Alright, let's get out of that. And just look how much more character the coaster has now. With some terrain deformation and a pond over there. And just trees everywhere around it. It looks so much better. And that's why I like to use a lot of trees. And if you're standing from right here, it's just like, oh, look at that coaster. It looks cool. So that's the wooden coaster. <clears throat> definitely, definitely cool. I'm definitely not my favorite coaster type that they've made, but um, <clears throat> because I think they could have done a better job with its design and realism-wise. But I know wooden coasters are probably a little bit harder to figure out with the uh, the supports being so much and everything like that so I mean I'm not knocking it at all it looks it looks pretty good <clears throat> I mean it doesn't have a bad look to it uh, again I would love to see wide supports uh, in the future because honestly if you have this really tall lift hill you're gonna want wide supports on the sides <clears throat> otherwise we don't want it to collapse All right, so I'm clicking on this, looking at the test results, even though I didn't get through all the coaster because it stopped at the brakes. There's your excitement rating, uh, intensity rating, nausea rating. They also have the safety rating, which is new, and obviously ours is pretty high, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, the nausea rating is pretty low. It looks like the intensity is going to be really hard to get high up unless uh, you do something really ridiculous because this is a pretty tall coaster and everything like that, so I... Uh, a lot of guests will be able to ride your rides even though, even if they are pretty crazy. So that's a good thing. Alright, something i was been wanting to see since uh, a while is the wing coaster. I have not seen the wing coaster yet. They have never showed this off. I'm sure people have already been 
uh, looking at it themselves, and I'm ready to look at it. So let's kind of give it an angle here, and place it down right here. Oh, the entrance or the start is over here. All right, let's take a look at its track. It looks about the same as all the other ones. <clears throat> Something that's just a little bit, you know, pet peeve of mine that all the tracks kind of look the same. They don't have their own thing. Like the wing coaster look track looks the same as the hyper coaster track. They look exactly the same. And I feel like the just the rails are a little bit too fat for realism wise. Just these rails um, right here where the wheels go on, they just look too fat to me. It just looks too bulgy uh, for realism-wise, and this is me nitpicking again. Now, I don't think it looks bad. I just think it could look better. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so to create a realistic lift hill, I figured this out in the spline base type things. You gotta first create a node a bottom node here. Okay, I'm gonna try and create a lift hill. If I can get this track straight. Oh I spazzed out the mouse again. Hold on. That's kind of an annoying bug. That happens. But I figured out how to work around it. <laughs> I'm going to click on this one again. Whoops. Maybe I can adjust this one a little bit. much yellow there. Let's see if I can get a straight piece of track. There we go. That's what I was looking at, looking for. Moved. Dang it. Ah. Yeah, it's hard to get a straight track in this thing. I'm just putting that out there. Like, I feel like if you have the grid on, it should be super easy to make this thing straight. Let's see if I can't adjust that. And well... Do here. Well, that's straight there. Don't move. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted four. Kind of want to have a little dip type feel here, just like that. And then our next node will be the straight one. <clears throat> See, it's important to make this one straight with this one, but it's not going so well. I don't know what's going on with this thing. How's that? Oh, we need to twist this. That's why it's so weird. 
facing that way. There we go. Well, now this isn't in the right spot. I don't exactly know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to make this correct. Like I want it to turn. I don't want it to face that way. Perfect. Why couldn't it be that simple earlier? Four. Oops. Keep doing it to scroll. Right there. Okay, let's try this. Now, get that nice. The supports are not working out, and that's not straight. Poop. Did I have the grid on? I thought I did. Where is the grid? There it is. So very tough to get that realistic type chain lift I'm going for. Alright. I've decided to move on. <laughs> Our mission is just to make this straight. Now we'll just, oh, I completely forgot a feature that will actually definitely help with this. So let's place this here. So, obviously I want a more realistic. So if we click on this, we can actually place new nodes like this. Oops. <laughs> Didn't want to move that. Wrong one. Four is four is the one I'm looking for. So I place that one kind of like that. You get the idea. And then if I click another node, say for instance this one. We just straighten this out. There we go. That's the perfect way to uh, create a realistic lift. I just, um, I just uh, figured that out. So if you want to make a realistic straight lift like that, create the one long piece and just you can click in there and add nodes afterwards. That works actually very well. That's a little too steep. Obviously, we're in the red. Alright, that's in the yellow, so we don't want to do that. Maybe we should add another node here. Whoa. 
that back in place. Let's just delete that one. All right, let's see what actually, before I do that, let's see what specialty they have here. Snake icon, vertical corkscrew, and loop. I hope they expand on these uh, in the future. <clears throat> All right, so you're entering that contest. I plan to, but um, I haven't gotten any information. <clears throat> on the contest, I don't know how if I need to enter it somehow, but um, you did point out something that the supports are still straight, <clears throat> which is not cool, <laughs> to say the least. Something I would love to see is like kind of like B and M connectors that connect the track and the supports. Um, it would be nice if they worked on the support supporting a little bit, <clears throat> because I don't want straight supports. Or give us the option to actually create, put w supports where we want them, what type of supports we want them. That would be a very cool feature, <clears throat> I think, to have. But again, we're going to have custom scenery and everything. Let's see if I can do what I want to do here. I'll turn this 180 degrees. I want it to be 180 exactly. Alright, that's 196. 181 is the closest we can get. Alright, I'm going to create... I'm actually trying to... make this realistic to a dive coast, or a twin coaster, and kind of make, not like a layout of Gatekeeper, but I'm something similar in that along those lines and it's in the red I don't know why it's not like it's gonna have any speed at this point okay let's Restart that. <laughs> hmm. For some reason, that's a negative one. That's weird. Okay. Well, I won't try that element. It's a little bit too difficult at the moment to maneuver, so I'll just kind of create a bend up here. So, let's do that. Uh, and see if I can't create like a drop turn or something. <laughs> Justice as needed. All right, let's delete this one. Just make this wider, and let's give it a little bit of a bank. I think a bank would help it, not actually hurt it in any ways. Alright, um, we'll continue that design in a little bit.
I kind of want to see what the trains look like, or the wing coaster, what it looks like here, so. That's their wing coaster. Right now, we'll see what different uh, coasters or a different type of... Alright, let's stop here. Okay, so overall, nothing too special, but, you know, it doesn't resemble being in, obviously, uh, whatsoever. <clears throat> I think mostly what everyone wants is stuff to resemble real life coasters like B&M's or GCI Woody's like the wooden coaster different stuff like that people would rather decide rather see it more realistic uh, based off like really based as much as they can on the on the companies <clears throat> is what I think everyone really wants so but overall, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. It could be better, but it, overall, it looks okay. Okay, I added a... <laughs> um, There's a catwalk there, but not on here. How did that uh, catwalk come there? <clears throat> catwalk. <laughs> I don't know how to add it, actually. But it added it on this one. Which is kind of kind of interesting. So, if maybe that's something they need to change, too. As the catwalk's kind of not through the whole thing. If you have multiple nodes, it looks like. Uh, which kind of which kind of sucks, but I'm sure they'll they might fix it. Very, very, um, focusing on trying to get this correct. <laughs> See, to me, this looks better than this, but yet, you see the, oh, it's like maybe I need to make it wider for that. Such a wide drop turn, or big drop turn. All right, let's see if we can't uh, add a uh, loop here. That's an ugly looking loop in my opinion. <laughs> and it's blue. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I clicked it and that was strange. Oh, so you can actually shape the loop up a little bit. is interesting. <laughs> That's a very strange looking loop. Alright, um, let me try that again. I don't know what that, what happened there. Uh, 
right, and definitely need the option to make it go one way or the other. Like, I, I'm going to be honest, I don't like the look of this loop, or the default. It doesn't look real. What is this? Like, like really, what is that? It doesn't look like it works very properly, or I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Yeah, let's add a top node here. I'm going to try and turn this into something. Well, never mind. I'll not change my mind. We're just going to get rid of this again. Okay. All right, overall. Let's see, put the grid on there. I'm still still trying to debate um there's still certain aspects, I think, that need to be worked on uh, big time. I'm going to try and they're gonna let me bend it. Again, limits. There shouldn't be any. When you have this type of... Uh, I, don't, I don't care for it. The limits just... There's too much... Too much on the limits here. It doesn't look good. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I was going for ish. So I created something. Maybe kind of like a dive loop type of thing here. I'm very tr trying to get this to work out. That's all red. I wasn't trying to <clears throat> and for some reason now that I see someone mention sound um, I don't know where the sound went <laughs> trying to see in the options here where it went Got that. <laughs> Can't adjust anything on the sound, so right now we don't have sound. It blacked out quite a long time ago. But inversions, a little iffy so far. A little iffy on inversions. <clears throat> I think they need to. But um, on the coaster, well, my audio just kind of blanked out completely. 
for ev I, I mean, I still hear it. Um. So we're just gonna create just a kind of like a helix type thing. So, you know, you can't have your hopes up for everything, anything yet. Or you can't uh, judge it. Oh, you can judge it, but um, you don't want to go too far much off of this because it's beta 1. You know, and they want us to post what we think and get so they can make changes in time for launch. I'm just going to kind of create a generic thing here. So we'll create a nice pretty coaster. But, um, let's raise it up. I, I'm trying, I'm getting too, a little too complex in my uh, coaster building. I want it to look great right off the bat, but this is like the first, still learning it. So I need to chill out a little bit, I think. Let's create a nice little overbank turn here. Looks like that will work out pretty well. See, if I twist it upside down, it's like red no matter what. Or unless I have it like that. <laughs> what if I had different heights? Maybe that'll help. I'll turn the grid back on, see if I can get this perfectly straight. I saw it white at one point. So you can create it like this twist, this barrel roll. But I don't want to go, I want to stay at about 180 degrees. For some reason it's at 179. Let's turn the grid off. All right, I saw it white around this area for wait what was it there's like a very small window spot that's where it is i mean i want to try and get an, an inversion in there a little bit okay let's see what we can do here Here's yellow. That's that's improvement. There's white right there. Alright. So that's a <laughs> there's an inversion. Alright, we successfully got an inversion. And it's definitely unique because it completely inverted right there and it twists on this turn it twists back upright and I was surprised I got that white <laughs> uh, to actually work out <laughs> which is very cool alright I should probably raise this up just a little bit 
way there's plenty of room for that train or the or the very end part right there. Maybe add a little bit of a bank here too. Perfect. Alright, I'm thinking about having a curve going this way. Going Facing more this way. Yeah, let's do that. Oops, wrong way. So this is gonna all over the place in, in itself. We're gonna have to change it that white. Most definitely, <laughs> the white's a little bit too much, too plain. I mean, I can get used to this coaster editor no problem. Just uh, certain things that I need to do are a little tough in some aspects. So. All right. I know it's going to go through that support right there. So the supports, I just, I feel like the supports do need some work. <clears throat> um, that's uh, definite. All right, let's connect that. It's obviously not straight. Let's see if we can fix that. Can't move this around. Okay, right around here. Put the grid on here. I like to have my Brake runs very precise and straight. I believe that's it right there. All right, so that's not bad. Let's click on this and create friction brake. See, just start off with that brake force. Maybe it'll work. So that's a pretty decent looking coaster we have right now. Again, the catwalk's a little bit glitchy. I think if you have multiple nodes as your uh, chain lift um, that doesn't generate all the catwalk on it. <clears throat> that could be that, or I'm just messing something up. I don't know. One of the two. Alright, so it wasn't able to make it here, obviously, so we're going to have to make some adjustments. all these a little bit lower. Oops. Like so. Alright, should have no problem getting to that chain lift now. And let's create a nice little queue line. <coughs> Of course, I am spending a lot of time on each coaster, but just look how awesome it looks. Or they look. They look so much better. Uh, the only co main concern I have is just uh, the supporting 
I think needs just to work a little bit. That's for sure. Whoops, I do not want that sci-fi theme there. Get rid of that. <clears throat> so path and cues. Click the normal queue. I hope they have more um, selection of queue line uh, later. Nice little curve to these. There we go. And let's get the street path asphalt. Let's try a curved path here. this path and try it again. There we go. And just do it straight from here. That'll work. Alright, so let's click on this and we want to do that and we want to work on the train. All right, so there are different ones. I like this one the best. And I want the full train as well. Oops, that, and now we got colors. Uh, this is the rail color. Let's just use See how that red turns out. Maybe a light blue. And supports. Purple is kind of interesting. That was not too bad. And test. So we're going to go ahead and test this. I got the wrong color on that front car. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. So let's try it again. Probably because I exit that, exited out of that, I'm assuming. Probably should have sh sped the chain lift speed up a little bit, but oh well. Alright, and these catwalks do not match the style of the wing coaster, so that's something they need to work on if they do plan on having catwalks. <clears throat> Game is still kind of a little bit low on frames per second here. Let me see how this <laughs> this inversion right here happens. Or how it works out. There it goes. Kind of like a huge barrel roll type thing. 
never seen it done before. It's still upside down right there. That's insane. All right, so a nice little smooth um, wing coaster here. Let's see how it does on the brakes. And it always says fail every time I have brake, a brake section. So I'm guessing I need to make the brake section have less force. So I'm guessing. So we'll put that down a lot because it stopped like right there. Alright, so the game frames per second, not very good right now. <laughs> um, which they have addressed. They said that that will not be perfect yet. The game's not fully optimized. <clears throat> okay, let's just get some nice scenery around the area. Like I always do. Some nice oak trees over here. Some of these trees in here. Find a bamboo plant. <laughs> There's the one I want. There it is. I really like this tree. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, it's one of my faves. So let's get all this going here. Probably want to do some terrain, de a little bit of terrain deformation around the ride as well. So, this is a wing coaster, and we got a wooden coaster uh, that we first made. Looking pretty good. The frames per second is dropping. <laughs> so, let's go ahead, just have these open over in here. Uh, both of them. Alright, so the safety rating on this one's a little bit lower than the wooden coaster. For unknown reasons. Let's actually stop this and uh, turn the brakes down on this piece right here. Brakes are a lot stronger than I thought they were, so. <clears throat> and let's just open them all. Alright, so our guests are in the park. And that's <laughs> that's a pretty good start, I think, for uh the very first um very first park I've ever built. Or our very first coasters I've ever built. <laughs> Not too bad. So someone just asked what's going on. Um, Rollercoaster Tycoon World, obviously. And this is the Rollercoaster Tycoon World beta. That um, if you pre-order the game, you get access to this. And um, I pretty much made some coasters. And the beta, first beta here is fo mainly focusing on uh, roller coasters. So there's no flat rides yet. Uh, in this build of the game, it's just mainly roller coasters. So, <clears throat> so I just made a couple roller coasters here with a pretty cool looking path. And I keep once I connected this queue line. Uh, actually, there's just a little bit of a line here on this pathway. I don't know what that is. Kind of weird looking. Ooh, the sunlight. The sunlight. And everything, the shadows look pretty good. I did a pretty good job on that. <clears throat> Bushes and plants, so the stream's been going for two hours already. That's impressive. We oh, have these hedges here, which are really cool. Put 
place these all on here if you wanted to. And they automatically snap by the queue lines. just meant what's up <laughs> well for anyone that didn't know I explained it <laughs> I thought you were confused of what's going on that was my bad I'm just gonna play some plants and stuff around here Of flower beds as well. Oh, those are really, really cool looking. Between these, we can place something, some cool plants or something. An Atari hedge. Yeah, I want that in my my park. Not really. <laughs> Line all pretty. All right, so um, what does everyone think so far of my little park? I think I did a pretty good job for not knowing how to play this game, playing it for the first time ever. I haven't noticed. Are the trains running? I opened them. I don't know if people are riding, though. Looks like someone just got off. Definitely. Definitely not bad. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Alright, we're gonna lower some some of this here. The terrain deformation is very, really nice and smooth. They did a really good job with it. Splash. <laughs> Get this little 
fuller here. Blood. Some of this sandy texture. There we go. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Alright, let's get the more trees in here. Get some palm. Nice little palm trees. See you around here. Yes, I, I just love these, I love trees, I love trees. Trees just add so much environment to your parks, in my opinion. They look great, especially if they look great, like these. <laughs> Let's get some nice big oak trees in there. And I'm very surprised of how stable the game's played with as much foliage and trees that I have added and the fact that the game's still playable is very impressive in my in my mind because it's handling a lot of trees and it started lagging as soon as I built the first coaster but of course it's not fully the game's not fully optimized yet. They're still working on it, and they want us to give feedback on it about it too. So, so we're get it. It's still getting there. When the game first loaded, when I hadn't built anything, uh, absolutely no lag. It was very smooth, very nice. But after adding some stuff, obviously it's. It's lagged just a little bit, and it's not like a bad, bad lag. It is lagging, but not like so bad to where you can't play it, which is a positive. And let's look the view here from the parking lot. Looks really cool. <clears throat> I'm very, uh, very proud of what I've made so far. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> now this is, I think this is all I'm gonna, for rides wise. I think that's all I'm gonna have in this park. I'm probably I'm gonna start another park probably here in a in a moment, and uh, actually get something more going. I haven't seen this brush yet. What is this? Ah, that's that's a cool brush. So I'm gonna create an environment around the park area. All right, so it won't let you go and it doesn't affect the area around it. Okay. So I'm going to create this all around the park here. Cuz I'm not going to be using all the space. This is just my very first park and now I'm ready to move on to something else. Thank you for my, that, that comment. <laughs> the force, force is strong in you. Most impressive. Literally, when I, when I got off work, I got home as quick as possible and ran to my computer and stuff, <clears throat> just so I can get my hands on this. I have to say, it's very, uh, very awesome. <laughs> um, for the for the for what it is right now, I think they've done a very great job. Uh, of course, we found some bugs. Found some bugs because you know that's what beta is all about, and it's 
not launch yet, so. The only time we should ever be worried is a lot of the stuff exists at launch, you know. And this is our time to give our final opinions and suggestions of what can make the game better. So if we need any suggestions of what we've seen so far, now's the time to do it. Alright, this terrain deformation is a very powerful tool. They really did a good job with it. <clears throat> really, really like how, how they designed it. And the brushes you have really good too. I have to say. And then of course, like their boss just mentioned, Beta 2. He's like, he, cannot, he can't wait for it. I can't wait for it either. Uh, it's going to really focus on simulation of the game. This is mostly for the coaster editor for this first beta. But the fact that I got my hands on this... I feel like um, all the coasters they were making <coughs> uh, and and uh, and their streams and stuff weren't very powerful. And I was like, with the tool that you're showing me, I could do so much better. And um, just look at these coasters compared to some of the ones they made. Theirs was unrealistic looking and stuff like that. So I made sure that mine wasn't going to be like that. Okay. See if I can't smooth these out a little bit better. I don't, I, I don't care for those ridges that much, so I just kind of want to smooth the texture here. With and I use that paintbrush tool or that paint or that brush uh, there because I just kind of wanted that uh, randomness of the hills. out. Now, I like to focus on how my park looks uh, rather than just creating something ridiculous and dumb in my <laughs> You know, I want to create something really complex and that looks good. And that's what my uh, always my goal is for every park. And this is my first park and um, I thought I did pretty good. Because I know they were just mainly showing off what you could do in the stuff and like going to different spots and doing whatever <clears throat> but um, I was sitting there the entire time during their streams like you have this powerful tool this you know with that that and you're creating that stuff come on you can do better than that uh, let's see we just got the sand and grass I'd like to have the rocks available, but they're not. The, those textures aren't available. Oh, so the rides are actually running. Alrighty, I heard it. All right, I haven't seen the rides running at all yet. Of course, I haven't been paying atten much attention to them. Oh, look at that on the wooden coaster. The beams are coming through the track a little bit there. <coughs> So that's something uh, a little bit there. Uh, of course, I'm looking for this stuff, trying to point out as much stuff as possible so none of these issues are here at launch. And that's the point of beta. It's pointing out stuff, all that stuff. Just a little bit of sand. Give it a little character. Since we don't have rocks, I can't do much and <laughs> that and it looks like air boss flooded his entire park paint that that a little bit 
All right, so it's pretty cool. <clears throat> now, of course, my favorite part <laughs> to add on the outsides, trees. Look like they place pretty decently on the uh, on the terrain terrain that you uh, changed. Ah, very good idea to. Take some snapshots and uh, post it around uh, everywhere. Very good idea. Thanks for mentioning that. I'll I'll be sure to do that. Thanks for pointing that out. I'll definitely take some snapshots. I'll do it as soon as I'm kind of done with here that uh, with this real quick and get all those nice beautiful shots. <clears throat> I created, like how I cr kind of created this little environment around the, on the outside of the park so it looks like that's the area of the park there. And of course if you wanted to do more, I mean look at all this space. I, I used maybe about a, maybe a little about a quarter, maybe a little over a quarter of space on here. But again, if there's more suggestions for this game, you better. We need to go out there and tell them. And I'm going to be telling them out throughout this beta. I'm going to try and get as many suggestions through me as possible. So, <clears throat> so far, I've definitely enjoyed it. Um, coaster editing. After you get the hang of it, it's really good. But there's some certain aspects of it that need to be a little bit better. Which is uh, making inversions are a little tough. The loops don't look real. The specialty tracks available in the beta here. Uh, hopefully they'll have more. I'm sure they will. Obviously not everything's available here in the beta. And I think th I think they will improve it. You know, I just I feel like they will. But um, we just got to make sure and make sure we keep annoying them about it. <clears throat> and I see people uh, discussing a little bit of how the game looks color-wise and just kind of the feel of it. I think it's good. You know, I don't think... I think it's it looks great. I mean, I don't think the colors are too bad in it. Need to place more trees around this coaster. All right. If I was to sit here and uh, do that, why is the frames per second so low? Um, it's mainly because the game isn't fully optimized yet, and they've addressed this a couple times a little bit. Um, throughout the beta, they kind of want us to play it and see how it turns out. Once it gets, they said by launch it will definitely be optimized. So the frames per second issue is still kind of there, is still there. Um, I have to say, even though the frames per second is low, it's still pretty playable, you know, for lagging a little bit. But um, hopefully, we're going to be able to. My really high hopes is that we can actually create really large parks. And of course. Um, if you have a beefier computer, um, you'll be able to do that. And I have a pretty beefy computer, not going to lie. Um, at least I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> so, um, my computer can handle almost pretty much any game. <clears throat> you know, it plays GTA 5 and stuff like that, uh, pretty flawlessly. But in games like this, it's, I know it's tough for the developers to get it because there's so much going on at once and, uh, one world, and you have um, all that stuff. 
Do I have a list of my specs? I don't really right now. I would have to look them up because, um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if they're the best in the world, but I just know I have a gaming PC and uh, I upgraded the graphics card when I first got it. <clears throat> But I never remember my specs at the top of my head. Okay, that's good for a while, for right now. All right, let's take some. I'm gonna take some pretty nice screenshots. I'll uh, be posting these through on like Twitter and Facebook and stuff, on social media and stuff. Okay, so this camera here, it's a free cam. Okay. So the amount of colors on the rides, so let me just, someone's commenting on it, so click on it. So um, someone commented on the colors for the, like the, these right here. Uh, I mean, they give you a pretty decent selection. Now, uh, to be able to get full custom colors would be nice. I mean, I'm not complaining about the selection they have right now. I think it's not bad. But, of course, I think a full custom color, you know, like, color thing would definitely make it a lot better. Because uh, you can really have any color you want uh, that you're looking for for that. But they try to get you as much here. I mean, this looks more pink right here than red. But it actually is red, as you can see, on the railing. It looks kind of different than what it does down here, which is kind of weird. <clears throat> but the full color spectrum... Um, that is a good point. Um, possibly a nice suggestion for the development team. Maybe they can get a full color uh, spectrum for it. Because <clears throat> we want to remember this is beta and there's still stuff that can be improved and features that to be added later through updates and stuff. So, I mean, at, I mean, we're, this is our first time actually playing the game for ourselves. So not everything's available. And this is our time to, you know, ask the developers what we want. And there's something I wanted to mention that I meant to mention at the very beginning was the coaster stations. Someone mentioned it, I think, er, way at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I love the coaster stations, don't get me wrong, I think they're great. But to be able to create your own custom station would be amazing. Like, if I want a certain theme going around it, I want to be able to create my own station. Like, completely make my own station. So it'd be nice if they had an option where you could... I want to have the entrance gates there, though. Where you could plop down a piece of track and customize everything, or the station part of the track, plop it down, and be able to build the building around it yourself. That is one suggestion, big suggestion that I would love. Uh, the in-game uh, coaster stations are beautiful. I think they did a good job on those. But if there's something for theming-wise that we need to do and we need to create it ourselves, I think it's very important that we get that option as well <clears throat> to create our own custom uh, entrance stations here uh, and also be able to still have the air gates and stuff like that. So I think that would be very important to keep those and still be you know, fully customizable stations is something that would definitely improve the game. And that's my big suggestion so far that I've had. I'm trying to get a good view of where I should create a screenshot here. So that's nice. And me being so dumb, I don't know how to create a screenshot. Free cam. Um, I think it was F12, actually. Yep, that's the screenshot right there. Okay. So there's my first screenshot. Take a good look. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Are you going to be able to use old custom scenery, or do you have to wait for the new stuff to be made? I'm pretty sure we're going to have to wait for new stuff. Um... As far as I know. 
Um, I'm sure P you can convert the old custom scenery from the older games into this. It just depends. I don't know exactly how it's going to work out. So we'll see how custom custom scenery and stuff works in the final game. So let's get a nice little shot somewhere else here for screenshots. I will be posting these screenshots through on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, everything else. Try to get a good picture of the wooden coaster here. Of course, the <laughs> supports are kind of messed up on it a little bit. Here we can get a shot from here. That will look good. Maybe this hill will look good. Maybe I should just spam and take a gajillion screenshots and use the ones that will turn out the best. <laughs> So I'll take some screenshots here. Oh, this is a nice little front screenshot. Will look good. So I'm going to get my screenshots finished up here and then I'm going to kind of start from scratch in a new park and work and do some new stuff. So maybe some more path work because I didn't focus too much on paths here. But man, I, I thought it'd be cool and seeing right here with the little wagon and stuff worked out really well. I really like the asphalt path. Oh, path. It looks really good. Nice little generic. And then you got your ghost guests. Get a nice picture. Ooh, that's cool. Kind of a point of view here from the pathways. <coughs> you can save your parks, I think, for the beta, but I think you'll lose all your stuff as soon as the full game comes out. You'll have to start over because everything's going to be released. I'm not entirely sure on that, though. I'm not sure if you. Man, that sunlight. Look at that. Here, I should get a night shot. Okay, just trying to take a lot of screenshots here. Nice ghost shots here. Ooh, that sunlight with the coaster looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they just decked this entrance out with Halloween stuff, didn't they? <clears throat> no. Jonathan, how long have you been standing there? Just an hour. Oh, okay. Because Jess, you know, Jess just said, LOL, Jonathan. And I look up at the stream, and there you are. <laughs> what do you think, Jonathan? I know. For a beta, not bad. Obvi obviously, the frames per second is a little iffy, but it's not optimized yet, so. They're still working on the optimization of the game. For the develop the developers are. But hopefully everyone enjoyed this park. I'm gonna probably move on to start from scratch again. Let me save this park here.
That way we keep this park here. Uh, let's call the save. Um, first park. I know, that sucks. <laughs> so I created my very first park on uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon World in two and a half hours, and I created two rides. <laughs> All right. So I created a wooden coaster and a wing coaster, and this next one, let's try and do something different. <clears throat> so let's quit and go to the main menu. Everything disappeared. Okay. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure, just make sure I can load my game map if I need to. Oh, the game might be crashing. Game might crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. <laughs> I think 